Today we begin our service with our Bible reading and it's from the Old Testament book of the prophet Daniel probably better known to you as Daniel in the lion's den. Now Daniel knew that the king Darius had foolishly signed a new edict but continued to go to his house. As ever, he opened windows which faced in the direction of Jerusalem. As ever, Daniel got on his knees to pray to the God of his fathers and to praise him, just as he had always done. The conspirators came and found Daniel praying and seeking mercy before his God. Then they approached the king and said concerning the edict, O king, did you not sign off a new law that anyone who prays to anyone, divine or human, who is not the king, within thirty days shall be thrown into a den of lions? The king answered, The thing stands fast according to the law of the Medes and Persians, which cannot be revoked. Then they responded to the king, Daniel, one of the exiles from Judah, pays no attention to you, O king, or to the decree you have signed, and is still praying to his God three times a day. When the king heard the charge, he was very much distressed. He was determined to save Daniel, and until the sun went down, he made every effort to rescue him. But then the conspirators came to the king and said to him, Know, O king, that it is a law of the Medes and Persians, that no decree or law that the king establishes can be changed. Try as Darius did, he could not find a way out. Then the king gave the command, and Daniel was brought and thrown into the den of lions. The king said to Daniel, May your God, whom you faithfully serve, deliver you. With Daniel in the den that night, the king had no sleep or food, and was troubled to his soul. Eventually, at break of day, the king got up and hurried to the den of lions. Sire, are you unwell? I haven't slept. Please God, I'm not too late. Sire, shall I call the physician? I have run, my friend! Open it.
Your God has saved you. Yes. Soon after, Darius issued decree, a decree concerning Daniel's God. It read like this. For he is the living God, enduring forever. His kingdom shall never be destroyed, and his dominion has no end. He delivers and rescues. He works signs and wonders in heaven and on earth. For he has saved Daniel. Saved Daniel from the power of the lions. And as for Daniel, he prospered under the reign of King Darius. This is the word of the Lord. So thanks be to God. Good morning and welcome to this Sunday, the 18th of October, and our morning worship for Harper's Brook Anglican Churches. What an amazing start to the service to have the story of Daniel in the lion's den and told in such a an interesting and dramatic way so many thanks to Alan for that and I think that probably gives us quite a big clue about what we might be thinking about this morning and let's remember that there isn't anywhere that we can go where God isn't and that includes being in a lion's den though I hope I'm never in one so let's join our praises this morning O oh Lord, open our lips, and, and our, our mouths mouth shall proclaim, proclaim your praise. And we're going to praise God for all the amazing things that he's done for us and that he continues to do for us. Bless the Lord, all you works of the Lord. Sing his praise and exalt him forever. Bless the Lord, you heavens. Sing his praise and exalt him forever. Bless the Lord, you angels of the Lord. Sing his praise and exalt him forever. Bless the Lord, all people on earth. Sing his praise and exalt him forever. O people of God, bless the Lord. Sing his praise and exalt him forever. Bless the Lord, you ministers of the Lord. Sing his praise and exalt him forever. Bless the Lord, you that are holy and humble in heart. Bless, Bless the, the Father, the Son and, and the Holy Spirit. Sing his praise and exalt him forever. So for all who celebrate this day, may they know your rejoicing. For all who worship today, may they know your delight. For all who seek meaning and purpose, May they find their destiny in you, the only true and living God. And so we're going to say together the prayer that our Saviour taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. And we pray our collect prayer for today. O oh God, for as much as without you we are not able to please you, mercifully grant that your Holy Spirit may in all things direct and rule our hearts through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who is alive and reigns with you, one God, now and forever. Amen. Amen. And we're going to continue praising God for his goodness as we sing Praise my soul, the King of Heaven.
once was a man called Daniel, good old Daniel, and Daniel prayed three times a day, good old Daniel, and so on. <laughs> that was a, a song that one of my church army colleagues uh, recorded and sang far better than me. But yes, there once was a man called Daniel, actually 2,500 years ago now. So much must have changed in that amount of time, but not, I think, the basics of what it means to be human, what it means to be a person. Like Daniel, we all have good times in our lives, as Daniel did, on and off, prior to and after this lion event, Daniel had enjoyment, as hopefully we do. Like Daniel, we need our friends to stand by us, which some of the Daniels didn't, including the king. We all need support. Like Daniel, we face dilemmas. Should I stick to my guns? Or should I just cave in and say and do what they want? We all need purpose. Like Daniel, we have a space in us that only God can properly fill. As Daniel prayed three times a day, putting me to shame, we need prayer. Like Daniel, we face difficulties when our own strength is not enough to cope, no matter how tough we are. Like Daniel, we need God with us, and with Christ, we never walk alone. Apart from the basics of what it means to be human, one other thing has never changed, and that's the presence of God in the Spirit, as near as your elbow. Other people can provide us with enjoyment, with support, and with some purpose in life. And we all know this past six months has, six months has been a challenge. And so hopefully a reminder to us of how important these things are. Prayer is different. It's not bound by time and space and is only possible if in fact God is with us. Never ever being alone, either physically, emotionally, mentally, is only fully possible if indeed God is with us. Thanks to the coming of Jesus, we do know that God is indeed with us. So prayer is important. And again, we never walk alone. So we need each other and we need God if we want to avoid being alone or walking alone. Daniel's life, a well-lived one, has something to say to us about this. Daniel gives us a clue to something very important because Daniel practiced what he believed, even though he was effectively in exile from his religious homeland. He prayed regularly and struggled, as we all do, to say the least. He also struggled to know what God wanted of him. He practiced so that when the day came when he was really was beyond himself, and he doesn't get more beyond yourself than being thrown to the lions, well, when that day came, he knew what to do and how to be. That's the lesson of Daniel. Practice, as it were. We do well to let God in through 
our attitude and our prayer regularly then when we are in real need we are already ready so to speak god may or may not rescue us from the practicalities of any difficulties we're in but for sure we'll never walk alone and the more we live knowing in faith that that's true the more we practice that way of looking at things the more we practice praying the more we'll feel it the more our faith will grow until it's something in the region of Daniel's uh, good old Daniel so take care and may God go with you as the deer pants for the water so my soul longs after you
to a notice to say that there will be a memorial service to um, remember those that we love and who we see no longer, which will be physically at uh, St Andrew's Brigstock on Tuesday the 3rd of November at 6.30pm. Obviously because of social distancing there will be fewer places available but never fear we will be videoing it and so you will still get the opportunity to be part of that service if you would like to. If you would like to uh, go and to that actual service then please do contact the benefits administrator in the normal way um, and also because it will be on video there it will be the opportunity to have the name of your loved one displayed on the recording so watch out for how you're able to do that as well and so we come to our final prayer of praise and request for help and don't let's ever be afraid to come before God and ask him to help us because he's interested in all our needs. The Lord is my light and my salvation. The, the Lord, Lord is the stronghold of my life. Of, of whom, whom shall I be afraid? One thing I asked of the Lord, to, to live in the house of the Lord all, all the days of my life. Hear, O Lord, when I cry aloud, be, be gracious to me and answer me. Do not hide your face from me. Teach me your way, O Lord. Lead me on a level path and I will wait for the Lord. So as we go into a new week, may the peace of God which passes all understanding keep our hearts and minds in the knowledge and love of God and of his Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord, and the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit be among you and remain with you always. Amen. Amen. So the Lord be with you and also with you. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. And we're very privileged now to have Jeremy, our organist from Subra, lead us out as he plays the organ. Thank you, Jeremy.